autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Sounds complicated? Let me explain. AHST has been established during the last decade as one of the most promising therapeutic options for multiple sclerosis and other autoimmune diseases. The idea is simple and sounds logically. Harvest your own stem cells from the blood, eradicate autoreactive immune cells in patients' body, which destroys healthy tissues of the patients, and let the patient's own autologous stem cells reboot and rebuild the immune system. And this is the procedure. Step one, activate patient's own stem cells that have a good rest in the bones. It takes four to six days of special medications to drive them into patient's blood. Then the next step, the harvest of the autologous stem cells. There will be the patient's army. Five hours per day, the patient's blood circulation is connected to a machine. Aim is to get about two million stem cells per kilogram body weight that can take up to three circles means three days. They go into a freezer where the army waits for its big day. Then there comes the toughest step, chemotherapy. Patient's immune system has to be eradicated. It takes just four days and it's moderate and less toxic as used for leukemia, for example. A cocktail of antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal prophylaxis accompanies the procedure. Let us call the final step new birthday, because it is. Patient gets the personal superpower back in the blood, their own stem cells. Plastic bags with frozen stem cells thawed two minutes in a warm water bath. They get reinfused into veins and additional medical power cocktails support this process. Patient's super army reboots now the immune system. The recovery is very important. After two weeks in isolation, the patient is discharged from the clinic. The immune system is still vulnerable for some months, so the patient has to take sensible precautions to avoid infections, such as avoid public spaces. But most important are the golden rules of the doctor. Good mood, good food, active lifestyle and lots of love. I'll be back.